Hey guys, hope you're all having a great day. Welcome back to another episode of the Forest Shuffle. We're currently sitting at just above rank 500. Nice and nice and tight in elite. It's gonna start queuing us up. And we've got our first match. Definitely some uh, good cards in my hand, some high scorers. Ballow is always nice. A wolf, the Alpine Newt, which I feel like I don't see enough, seeing as there's three of them in the deck, but that's just me. Um, you know what? I'm gonna copy that move and I'm gonna play Birch Tree as well. The Chamosis, the white one, which is arguably with the worst of the three. Although, uh, they'd, they'd have to be balanced around how many of the symbols there are in the game. It's also not the right color for the Alpine Newt. Not that I want to play that at the moment, but what I do see is a Fallow Deer player. I can get the bonus off it. Not really missing out on much here. I think I've been playing too many trees recently. Now, the mole is very good for getting up to no good to do with the uh, butterflies. Sorry, I lost my train of thought there for a sec. Now, I don't know. Ooh, that's, a, oh, that's fine. Ah, uh, they picked up the two cards I wanted. That's annoying. Uh, yeah, I don't really want anything that's up there. Although the blueberry would have been a fine pickup for the Alpine Newt, I should note. I do want to play the Penny Button Mushroom, though. That's probably going to be... My next player. Yep, they're just drawing, so I have the whole whole of whatever I've put down and then whatever they put down. And just yeah. Get rid of the Douglas fur and this awful horse chestnut tree. What are they up to down here? Nothing yet. So Any birch trees as I can get would be nice. That uh, so they're playing butterflies. One off the top. It's a useless, useless horse chestnut. I'm just drawing trees. Not what I want. And I don't really have a play here. I guess I could play this thing. This little creature. I'm not exactly happy about that though. It's kind of annoying that they picked up both the butterfly and the the birch tree. I think if I had gotten both of those, I'd be sitting pretty as a peach. They play a mole? Oh, they played a mole. Yeah, well, they did what I wanted to do, but far better. <laughs> so good on them. My goodness, they have gotten very far ahead. Props to them. Oh, and now I'm going to get pretty far ahead. Now, it won't be as good as what they did, but a respectable... It's annoying. We're going to definitely grab that up. 
And I think I will not be playing that one. And I just draw trees! I don't need more trees at the moment. I'd be very surprised, yeah, if they don't take the hedgehog. Draw some more cards. <laughs> now I've doubled up on the one butterfly I do have, so that's kind of annoying. Another wolf, that's good though. I can immediately whip out an Alpine Newt to play, which I think I'll go for. Just because it's gonna get a lot of cards out of my hand. It's a little annoying playing, you know, the copy of the same butterfly, but it is what it is. And they draw that. That's, a, that's an interesting move from them. Down goes a beach martin. Ugh. I get these damn these ho damn horse chestnuts are literally everywhere. They're like a plague infesting my board. Well, that's why we played last turn and didn't draw. Another butterfly. Another butterfly and a road deer. Well, it's making my wolves a lot more valuable. And as long as I'm able to block the cards they are going to be looking for, because they already have like five butterflies. If I scroll down, it's four. Where did this go on them? Four points. So they are a little ahead at the moment, but. It's nothing too drastic. That that's another copy. I don't I don't need these. Come on guys. Could be a hedgehog play next time. I don't know. I don't think I wanna play the hedgehog. But a lot of these earthy tones, earthy colours. I need those. I need reds in the... Actually, wait, I don't wanna... Oh, wait, that's right. I play... Actually, wait, this draws me a card, doesn't it? Maybe I'll start that off. A very meh card. I guess it is the coloring for both of my... Do they pick up the beach man? They do. No, they do. Never mind. Oh my god. I've, I think I've handed off so many beach muttons, it's insane. Ridiculous. Someone stopped the beach muttons. And I kind of really want that. So I'll get down to 8 cards. Mm, that's nice. I engage in a little raccooning. Although, I need a yellow card. How can I play this? Yeah, I'll start it off with playing the tree fern. Not really what I want. I'm seeing a fire salamander into this lynx. Looks quite ideal for me. So I will unfortunately waste 50% of my turn. But I think we just fire salamander into a lynx. Probably while well, they, they dropped the fold, they dropped the bullfinch. It's like 12 points for them. And then we'll get down the lynx. Which, not a huge fan of the Lynx, but it does score you quite a few. Okay, doesn't score you quite a few, but it just feels ultimately like a bit of a useless card. Down goes Mr. Wolf. What do I draw off it? Hmm, garbage. <laughs> 
We'll pick up the raccoon again, and one off the top, please. Maybe a deer? Not a deer. That's a tree. Silly game. You just gave me a deer. Got some more off the top. That's six points right there. There we go. There we go. That's what we like to see. My main wondry how I want to play because right now I've got it in my head that I can play this this penny button penny bun mushroom and I think that would be a very helpful addition to my forest my concern is okay, well, I have so many of these white cards so five of them what am I discarding for this These two? Okay, I'll, do it. I'll take it. My concern is I need to actually play some cards on the tops of my trees. Ideally, butterflies. I have so many. I guess I've only got two. I've got two cards that go off butterflies. I'm I'm not thinking this raccoon's going to be getting much value. And I guess wild boar squeakers are kind of worth it. I've got so many fallow deer. Well, if they put a yeah, they put a tree in. I was going to say if they uh don't play a tree then I get to draw some delectable cards from the center, but it seems like they thought of that. I just thought of an absolutely fantastic name for uh, for an episode. How many of these are there? Might be some big things coming. Oh, let's play the right Eurasian J. <laughs> and drawing to that's that's crazy. Oh, and luckily, we get to play the Fallow Deer and Draw to. And I'm going to want to take both of these back again and play the Wolf. I think the Raccoon might be getting sidelined. That Beech Tree, though, could be little one to pick up. Okay, we'll start off with a little wolf play, draw three, take an extra turn, and if I just play the red deer here? Yeah, I think I do. Just in case the game ends next turn. The, the Fire Salamander. It's like such an obnoxious card to try and... Try and get down. Just because... Uh, that's a nice one. Although I guess, do I really care? I mean, it's an extra point here, I guess. But uh, three points isn't exactly what I want to be getting out of bed for. And actually, I do need another tree as well. What do they do? I don't know. Well... Sitting, second winner card, okay. Maybe a third? Nope. Just because it's 
so many of the so I'm just thinking about if I can get anything off this European larch. I don't think so. I think I just need to play the tree. Now these next turns are gonna be so like unimpactful though. See like that kinda of makes me wanna draw the large. But I am concerned about how quickly the game could get away from me if I take too long. Although I guess they don't have many cards in their hand, so large. Get another large. Yeah, nothing nothing too bad sprouting up that they can just grab. The Steinbock is good though. There's no denying that. And then I play this tree fern. Draw an extra card. Kind of meh. And then I play a salamander. And do I want to get this badger out? Wait, one more. I don't think I want any of any of these. I guess I'll keep the gnat because it's free. Well that um that's good scoring off that. I think I'll definitely pick up the raccoon just so I can cycle my hand more. Well, maybe I won't be. They, they keep doing this. They keep, like, taking an extra turn and then shuffling the entire pool away. Quite annoying. Damn, they haven't gotten any Genesias either. Where are they? Straight off the top? This is just a no-brainer because it, it's just a draw two and then... Wow. Uh, That's nice. Yeah, I'm not going to say no to that. Two off the top, and then... Next time I play the wolf, is the first Genesia. They're really buffed butterflies in the expansion. Not only did they make it so you can get an extra 15 by having one more butterfly, but they also added three cards that let you play one and score three per butterfly. But also the Alpine Newt, which scores two and lets you play one, one butterfly, sometimes two, but just an extra card in general. Down goes the wolf, we draw, we end the game. I think I'm... no, nah, there's no way I'm hitting 300. Yep. Nice little victory. Plus 20? God damn. That's crazy. Alright, queue it up for the next one. Hopefully this queue is as short as the last one. We are into our next game, and we are against someone that is bronze. Not that I think that really means anything at all, apart from, I guess, just knowing that if your opponent has elite, they've played enough games. Just going to start off with the Goshawk 
and one off the top after I play a an oak. Now they have to play. Well, I'm gonna chuck down the tawny owl. Huh? Oh, whoops! Ah, my blunder there. I should be up two cards. Accidentally played the wrong card. Hope they do not play something that lets them grab that. That'd be very annoying. Now, could be. I think that they're definitely plotting something over there. This could definitely be some sort of funky build. I want to. I want to do something funky. I'm seeing the opportunity to get funky here. I'm going to pick up the tree fern. I'm going to pick up the beech tree. I'm always going to pick up the beech tree, but... And by funky, I mean... Oh, oh no. They've already started the butterfly plan. Oh, can I start the butterfly plan? My butterflies would score six points per butterfly, whereas theirs would not. Well, I don't think there's any need to think about that just yet. Oh, another bullfinch. Oh, this is bad. I'm being led down a dark path. Or do I just grab the raccoon and, and settle? Oh, so many options. I'll grab both, and I'll see what they do next turn. Oh. That didn't, that didn't help me at all. <laughs> um, do I go for it? It sounds fun. So we'll go for it. Down goes the hedgehog. There's a goshawk, but I don't... I don't think I got time for that. Down goes the bullfinch, or... They picked up. Throw off the top. The beach mountain. Ah, uh, maybe I just go for it. Play the bear. One, two, three. You know what? Yeah, screw it. I can do a quick game with a side of butterfly stuff. So lots of drawing, lots of lots of shuffling everything away. Maybe even a lot of playing cards face down as trees. Lot of taking that though, that's for, that's for sure. Uh, I've just got these two cost trees, I don't want them. Do I discard them? No, uh, not yet, I don't think. What can I do here? I can't play anything. Oh, I can play the hedgehog. I get this little hedgehog fella down. I guess I can play the Douglas Fir as a freebie. Oh, Lee, are they taking extra turn? Yeah, this thing's going back in their hand. <laughs> I was going to say, my eyes grew wide with excitement there. But it was not to be. Yeah, take them both back. Basically got to play the tree for free and dig one deeper in the deck. Draw two. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Choices, choices. Well, I'll just take these trees. Down goes the beech tree. And then I want to play the bullfinch. Damn, I have so much scoring for butterflies, but I've got zero butterflies so far. A little bit of a problem. Get the first butterfly down with broken ground. I should also just go try and search for a... Uh, a mole. Yeah, basically... I want as many bearded vultures as I can get. And then just start shuffling cards away. Another bear, which I'm interested in. But yeah, I can kind of like get rid of everything here. Bar the. Oh, there's a different butterfly. No tree infrastructure we have for it though. So we just throw off this tree. And then we're asked, hey, what do you want to get rid of? And I'm like, take it all. Now, it's probably wrong getting rid of this goshawk, but I don't care. Those are certainly some cards. Oh. I need dark greens. Oh, they don't grab it? That's crazy. Snap that up. Snap this up. Dark greens. So this build I'm going for, it's pretty wonky. I'll be the first to admit it. Another tree down. I'm going to play some butterflies. One butterfly. Two butterflies. Damn, look at that scoring from just a, a random assortment of butterflies. Beach tree's nice. I'd rather not try and like get rid of that with the brown bear. I'll just play it. Fortunately, that puts us at 7, but it's fine. We've got... Kind of enough? No, we have enough. I'm just going to go for it. 1, 2, 3. Shuffle those away. Take an extra turn. There's a fresh butterfly. And I'm drawing all the wrong... These aren't the, the special cards I want. What the other ones? The raccoon, that's good. Drawing. There we go. First winter card. Ooh. Okay, that's a little bit of a problem. I need another tree out. 
play this. Get the butterfly down. Yeah, so I need a tree. Maybe I'll just draw the birch. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take the birch. Just because I can play it like immediately and it won't reduce the amount of cards I have in hand for the raccoon. Second winter card. Now we're on a scary verge of the game could end at any moment, but it probably won't, but it could. So down the bearded vulture will go. Fortunately, I haven't seen any other ones, I don't think. And of course, like, I could just play, like, the deer, and it would be a good, a good play, but it's boring. Ah, whoops. I should have been one card further up, my bet. This is quite risky what I'm doing, but not the riskiest. There's another butterfly, and that does jump me up 20 points, 23 even. You know what? Ooh. Holy. That's bad. I guess what I'm doing with butterflies probably isn't the best because you need a lot of trees for butterflies. That might be a little oopsie. And that's why we play. We play to play the oopsies. And there's the game. <laughs> so... Probably should have just played the raccoon. I think I would have won. But it's fine. It's fine. Minus 30. Oh, I lost to the bronze player. <laughs> well, thank you for watching, guys. You know, I went for it. I shouldn't have. But I, I went for something silly. And it backfired. So, there you go, guys. Don't go for something silly. Unless you want to. But I'll see you guys on the flip side. Peace.